Welcome to Alaska's Real Deal. I'm your host, Molly McCarthy Kunfer with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game Division of Sportfish. In this series, we're featuring some of the fishing opportunities within Alaska state parks. Make sure to get the Real Deal this summer by purchasing your Alaska fishing license and your Alaska State Parks Pass for a passport to adventure. Today we're at the Rabbit Lake Trailhead, about to hike back the four and a half miles to the lake. We heard that there's some great rainbow trout fishing back there and we have all of our gear ready to go. But before we hit the trail, we were sure to link up with Alaska State Parks Ranger Mario to hear all about what we need to expect when we're on the trail. Rabbit Lake Trail is at the very end of Canyon Road. People know it as the Flat Top Sunnyside Trailhead, Canyon Road Trailhead, Rabbit Lake Trailhead. Go all the way to the end of that parking area and then the trail is clearly marked. There's a yellow bollard sticking up. Remember there is limited parking in that area as well. Be respectful of the neighbors when you access that area. In the summertime there is a portable latrine and a trash can up there. But remember, if you're headed out to those areas, we'd like you to take your trash home with you when you leave. So Rabbit Lake is a moderate hike for folks that want to go out and camp overnight. You got to haul your gear four miles and then you're basically at the lake. Just first camp out there. Remember, there's no ground fires. Bring a fire pan with you if you'd like to have any sort of a campfire. From Canyon Road to Rabbit Lake, the four and a half miles, that trail is open to mountain bikes. It is a rough trail, so it's not for road biking. Rabbit Lake is back in its own little valley there between the two suicide mountains, which is a really interesting backdrop for it. Be aware of weather conditions. Weather can change back in there. We've had some black bear activity right at the trailhead. Both black and brown bears, moose. Once in a while, you'll see some sheep wander through. If you hook a right and go down the McHugh Lake Valley, which is very near to Rabbit Lake, it's actually a through hike. You can go 10 and a half miles from Canyon Road down to McHugh if you wanted to. You'll see usually some herds of sheep up in there. Great berry picking for folks. If you want to get out again and do some fishing and some berry picking and just take the family out for the day, it's a really great spot to do it. So we've made it to Rabbit Lake. It was a beautiful hike. Uh, we were socked in with quite a bit of fog and as you can see it followed us to the lake. Uh, we've got fish jumping and rising right in front of us which we're pretty excited about. Uh, we brought with us two five weight fly rods with a bunch of different flies and some bobbers to even just leave a fly out there and then we also have a, a lightweight spinning rod and reel with some spinners so we'll see if any of those things can produce a fish for us today but it was a gorgeous hike out here and uh, we're looking forward to fishing. This lake was originally stocked in 1996 with rainbow trout and it continues to be stocked about every other year. Ice can often be holding late into the spring. So fishing at Rabbit Lake may not be in its prime until into July. You have the options, you could use spinning gear or fly fishing gear. It does get a little windy out here. Headed to Rabbit Lake to go fishing. <laughs> it's a beautiful day out here. Just a little bit of wind. So if you are going to fish with fly fishing gear, you might have a, a little harder time. So bringing both options is a, is a great idea. If you're going to fish with fly gear, you can try uh, caddis flies, woolly boogers, leeches. There's a lot of good options. I'd stick with smaller hooks. If you're going to bring spinning tackle, spinners, spoons, rooster tails, things like that will be great options. If you are planning to do catch and release fishing, we suggest a single hook. Barbless is a great option as well. If you don't have barbless hooks, you can always crimp down the barb on the hook that you do have. So make sure you check the regulations before you go out and have a great time while you're out fishing. Thanks for tuning in for today's episode of Alaska's Real Deal. I really hope you'll take the time and hike out to Rabbit Lake, bring your fishing rod and have a good day with your friends and family. Stay tuned for the next episode on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm.